a year where you win once, it's already a very good year. To win four big tournaments in one year, it's just completely unheard of. You give a player with great game, high confidence, and the future is limitless. This is my time. I turned pro when I was like, I remember it quite clearly actually. Um, it's the day before I turned 15 that we just decided to go for it and to try to improve myself. I was so young and I was really naive. <laughs> you know, he was small in stature, didn't really have the power, but you could tell that he knew how to score. He had a great feel for the game of golf. I was just starstruck and there in the headlight. I didn't know what to do. I was just there to try to take it all in, and the rest is history. From an 18 year old Thai looking for his breakthrough in Jazz Jane Watananon. I know it's funny to say, but we thought he would bloom a lot earlier than he did. We thought he'd be a superstar by the time he was 18, but it wasn't to be. I went to America to do some web.com. And I, when I came back, I, I found myself in a position that I lost my playing rights on the Asian tour. Before I went to, into a monkhood, I didn't even think I can win an Asian tour tournament. I just never have the, the mindset to go and win. It just makes you see things in a different perspective. Golf is not the biggest thing in your life. Not even a month after that, I won my first Asian tour tournament. It's a brilliant performance, isn't it? After losing his card last year, the third tournament of the season, bang, getting a win. Everything is automatic, I don't know, it just click. When you won your first tournament, you just get that weight off your shoulder and you, you don't have nothing to prove anymore. And Jazz Jane Watanadok is an Asian Tour winner for the very first time. I didn't sleep much last night, to be honest. I think it's the longest 18 hole of my life, and uh, I'm happy I'm through it. I think it's all about self-belief. It really made him feel that he belonged on tour and he could really do things that he'd always wanted to achieve. On the tee from Thailand, Jazz Jane Watananon. The way he played, you could tell that he was just coming out of his shell. Three birdies, four holes, stunning. My oh, goodness. To do it in that fashion was simply outstanding. There's been so much promise from this young man. How's that for a golf shot from <laughs> Jazz? What a way to win the Singapore Open. It's a rush that I never feel before in my life. Your heart doesn't beat faster, but it beats louder. They dance to the tune of Jazz in Singapore. You know, it's my lifelong dream to be a top 100, then move to top 50. That's every kid's goal when, when you're growing up. I didn't know I was going to do it this fast. The weight lift off your shoulder, you know, it's done. You got to it and you come out on top. Even the first day I get that feeling already of a heart beating really, really loud. One of the toughest golf courses in the world. And uh, the way he played was fantastic. He was kind of starting to show his potential. You know, not much different than the top players of the world because that's the way they would have moved around the golf course. Playing against the bigger guys, I think it just helped you elevate yourself to be a better player. As the rise and rise of Jazz Jane Watanadon continues, now the latest Indonesian Masters champion. I set out a goal in the beginning of the year after I won Singapore Open that I, I want to get into the top 50. I didn't expect to crack it this soon, but right in the end of the year, and I'll get in the Masters. I have it in the back of my mind. It's something that is a big bonus waiting for me at the end of the road. What a birdie, what a season, what a year. I tried to play it thinking that I actually did it. Oh, I actually get to go to the Masters, and I can achieve this. The most important thing about Jazz is his belief. He's there because of that X factor. It's the confidence, the belief in himself. He's not afraid of mixing with the top players in the world. 
if he had more tournaments, I, I think he would have won more times. <laughs> We think that he's just going to get better and better. He's only 24 years old and the world is his oyster, really. I can't tell my future, but I just have to keep working hard. I don't know how far I can go, but my goal was to be top three in the world. And hopefully one day I can be one of those. This is my time.